Arkansas, the natural state, a state of honestly a lot of mystery, but wonderful nevertheless. Today we are talking about things you should know if you are considering a move to Arkansas. So let's jump right in it. Arkansas is honestly an oasis for anyone who feels like their city has been saturated and is now overcrowded. Let me explain. This past year, I have sold houses in Arkansas to people who have relocated from across the US. But I hear time and time again, oh wow, Little Rock sure reminds me of how Austin, Texas used to be. Oh wow, Fayetteville really reminds me of old Nashville. And I think it's really unique how so many people are looking for a little bit of a slower paced lifestyle and they can find that in Arkansas. So Arkansas really is kind of the perfect place because you can find a small town or you can find, you know, a much larger town. In Arkansas, we have cities ranging from eight people all the way up to over 200,000. That would be Little Rock, our state capital. With that variation in size, obviously we have some extremely rural areas. So if you are looking for acreage and picking up all of your local items from the Dollar General down the road, we've got that for you. But if you're not quite ready to give up the comforts of your current larger city, don't worry, we've got several big cities that I feel like you will feel totally comfortable in. One of the big shocks to me when I first moved to Arkansas was how easy it is to get set up here. Let me give you an example. When I went to register my car, like get my license plates, uh, get my driver's license, switched over to Arkansas, I only waited in line for maybe five minutes, no exaggeration. Revenue offices here who handle all of our DMV activities are extremely efficient and usually there is a minimal to no wait. On top of this, the fees to register a vehicle are extremely low and because there's also no wait, when you go to register your car as well as get your new driver's license, you get those things on the spot. Like you will get your permanent driver's license printed that day. You will get your license plate for your car on the same day that you go. So make sure that you are photo ready because your photo for your ID will be taken. Uh, but that's just something kind of cool is even in where I'm living now, which is Little Rock, the state capital, you can experience you know minimal to no lines and you still get the convenience of everything moving very quickly. And comparing that to some of the other places that I've lived, like Atlanta, where you're gonna spend half a day waiting in a DMV line, it was a great experience. Of course, Arkansas is not without its quirks and cons as well. For me, one of the big things is that we only have a small national airport. There is not a large airport in the entire state. And our small national airport, just to give you an idea, is one building and that one building has only 12 gates, like six on the right side, six on the left side. You literally walk through security and you've got like one hallway with your gates, that is it. Now, in my opinion, I love to travel. So this is a little bit of a con for living in Arkansas for me because it can be difficult to get to your final destination when you live in Arkansas. So for example, when I had a trip planned to Hawaii earlier this past year, I had to do a flight to Dallas first and then go out to Hawaii. That is typically the case. If you are not going to a large city that is somewhat close to Arkansas, you're probably going to have to do a layover in Dallas. And that's just kind of common. It comes with the territory. But luckily, you can either like drive to Dallas, which would be about five hours, or you could take a short 45 minute flight. Um, on top of that, because we are a small national airport, the flights can be a little bit more expensive. So it is just something to watch. Now, on the flip side of this, travel road trip wise is chef's kiss, exceptional. Now, one of my favorite things about Arkansas is that it is, you know, very centrally located, kind of right in the middle of the Midwest and the South. You could do so many great road trips within just a few hours. You have Dallas, which I mentioned, which is only five hours away. Nashville is only five hours away as well. You've got Memphis, which is only two hours away. And 
if you are going to be living in Arkansas, Memphis has got the closest Ikea, so just keep that on your radar. Also the closest Cheesecake Factory. I know people who drive there specifically for that. You've got Branson, which is three hours from Little Rock, but much closer if you're living in the northern part of Arkansas. Tulsa is only four hours away, and New Orleans is a seven-hour drive. So you've got tons of exciting cities that you can easily drive to in one day or half a day. So these make really great weekend trips or you know if you want to just take a little break from Arkansas see the sights around you do have that ability so flying can be difficult but road trips 10 out of 10 after spending the last few years in Arkansas I can confidently tell you that if you are into hiking hunting fishing camping you will never run out of things to do I personally feel like Arkansas is an outdoorsman's paradise. The only other place that I would say that I've personally lived that compares to Arkansas in terms of outdoor activities was Oregon. Oregon was very outdoorsy, tons to do, beautiful nature to take in, and that's how Arkansas is as well. Me personally, I'm more of a city girl. I was raised in cities, so of course I will enjoy some outdoor activities, but I, I didn't grow up hunting and camping. So I don't even fully take advantage of all that there is in this state, but I have friends who are out there literally every weekend. I swear they're doing some type of fishing, they're hunting something another, or you know, posting pictures of the most amazing sunset that they saw on their latest hike. Like there is tons to do if you are an outdoorsy person. I think that the reason that there's so much to do is because Arkansas as a state terrain wise is pretty diverse. You have like the southern part of Arkansas, which is mainly flat farmland. The south is made up of the Gulf Coastal Plain as well as the Arkansas Delta. Up north, however, you're surrounded by the Ozark and Washita Mountains. So literally like the state is completely divided. Where I am now in central Arkansas, we still have mountains. We're still pretty hilly um, in, in most of the suburban areas. But the more south you go, the more flat starts to look like Texas and Oklahoma. Northwest Arkansas, when I was living up there is very hilly as well. There were a few times when I was in Fayetteville in college that I was worried if my little car was going to get up the hills, especially when it was in heavy rains or the roads got a little bit icy. So just something to consider. I love how there are diverse different types of terrain and because of that, lots of different outdoor activities, depending on what you feel like. Arkansas as a whole is still very under the radar. And I will be the first to admit that before I moved to Arkansas, I couldn't even locate Arkansas on a map. I mean, that may have been because geography wasn't my strong suit, but also just because I had never really heard of it. I never really heard of much going on there. I hadn't really paid attention to it, period. Now, now, in the past few years, Arkansas has grown. So if you go back and you watch my last few moving to Arkansas videos, you'll see I always talk about like the median sales price, which a few years ago was much lower than it is today. But we have not seen a huge jump like some of our neighboring states. In Pulaski County, which is Little Rock and the suburban cities, our median sales price is up to 212000 So this is still relatively affordable compared to most of the nation. In Benton County, which is up in Northwest Arkansas, the median price point just got up to 395,000. So it is a little bit more expensive up there. Benton County has the highest median price point in all of Arkansas. The last thing that I wanna to touch on that I have never mentioned in a moving to Arkansas video before is as soon as you start doing your research, you're probably going to come across some strong ideals, usually spread by Arkansans. You are going to hear a bunch of people saying that Northwest Arkansas is the greatest place on earth, that they would never live anywhere besides Northwest Arkansas. And on the flip side, you are going to hear that Little Rock is crime ridden, that people would never live in Little Rock with, you know, if, if even if they were paid to. I want to kind of debunk these rumors a little bit. Now, I have personally lived in both areas. I enjoyed my time in both areas, but they are vastly different environments. In my opinion, coming from larger cities, 
A Little Rock is better for me. I love the diversity in Little Rock. I love that there is more to do and there are more people. I also love the feel that, you know, you have Little Rock, which is very central. And then all around Little Rock, you are surrounded by tons of very suburban feeling cities where you could easily commute in and out of Little Rock within 30 minutes if you worked in Little Rock but wanted to live outside of it. For me, Little Rock works, but I want you to do your own research. I just want to debunk that. The same thing goes for Northwest Arkansas. I enjoyed my time there. Northwest Arkansas is a cool, funky place, and it has a different environment than Central Arkansas. For some people, they love it. For some people, they may not. So, Ultimately, you want to do two things. You want to look up the crime statistics wherever you move, even if it's not in the state of Arkansas, because that's just a smart thing to do. The second thing is I always advise that if you can make a trip to visit Arkansas before a move, that you do so, even if you have the luxury of visiting while considering Arkansas as an option. Because we have so many different areas, I honestly do feel like no matter what environment you are looking for, you can find it in Arkansas. You have to come and you have to get that feel for yourself. Now, this year I will be putting out additional videos on Arkansas, kind of going through some of my favorite neighborhoods as well as different vibes that each neighborhood carries. So if you are interested in that and are considering a move to Arkansas, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel for those in the future. Of course, I would love to talk to you more about a potential move to Arkansas. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me using the form in my description box. I'm Nicole Lark, Arkansas real estate broker with videos to help you find your way home, hopefully to Arkansas. And I will see you in the next one.